Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Madhuri here. Welcome to Jade Soft Tech. In this session, we are going to discuss a project related to interactive ALP report to display delivery header and item data. So the delivery header table will be LIKP table and delivery item data is uh, LIPS table. So let's go ahead and create a program uh, to uh, report program to display the header and item data in the interactive ALP. So we normally go into a, into uh, SC11 transaction and in this SC11 transaction, we are looking at the LIKP and LIPS tables. This is the LIKP table in which we have all these fields. So we'll take a couple of fields from this and uh, uh, we'll take LIPS as an interactive report for interactive report for the secondary list. We'll get we'll create some we'll take some fields from LIPS table. So in the in the client requirement it will be very clearly mentioned which are the fields from which table we have to take according to that we have to we have to take it so as of now we are taking three or four fields so let me create a package here we'll go to package then we have set jade software in the sc80 we are creating a package called zj software and it will also prompt us to get a request number we'll do that New request for J. So the package is successfully created. So we'll right click on this and click a uh, create and we'll go to the program. We'll create a program Z eight softic underscore delivery. Interactive ALV. This is a program that we are creating here. And it'll ask for the attributes. And here you need to click on save, not on the local object. If you click on the local object, again it will save in the dollar TMP, which is a temporary file. So only when you save a program in a package, you will be able to transport it to the into uh, the quality and production systems in the real time. So let's take a couple of fields from LIKP table. So I'll be selecting a couple of fields here. So we have ERD80. So I'll restrict uh, to only four fields here. First, we'll go for types. Begin of st underscore LIKP. End of st underscore LIKP. So, if at all, if you are doing uh, the old editor, please make sure that you write the tables. In tables, we have to write mention LIKP and LIPS. If you are in the latest editor, uh, no need to worry about that. We also have to give Tables SLIS in this, and then we here we have here the field name. Those these are the field names that we have. So these fields stands for delivery number delivery name name of the person who created the delivery and the type of uh, delivery so let's go for bln underscore vl for this the data element would be bln underscore vl and er name er z80 er d80 so these are the fields that we have so let's uh, create another one for the second screen that is for the LIPS so in the LIPS I will take it as LIPS here and these fields will not be not be taking these fields from there so 
So we define two structures here, one for the main screen and the uh, second for the second screen. So we'll go for the data declaration it underscore LIKP. And this is of type uh, it underscore LIKP. And we can be having one more called uh, it underscore LIPS. We'll have it underscore fcat type. This happens to be for the field catalogs which we need to build. SLIS underscore field cat underscore alv. And this will take it as fct1. This is for the first screen. And then we have it underscore fct2 the second screen so we are declaring all the internal tables in one place then responding work areas is what we have to define here so let me define the work areas as well uh, two work areas for the data and two work areas for the field for field catalog it's happening to be WA. Now here we'll go for st underscore LIKP. And here SLS underscore here it happens to be T underscore field catalog. Here here also T underscore field catalog and T underscore will not be there for the work area that we are actually building. So let us check the declaration here. This should be LIKP. And the last, we need to have this full stop here. And if at all, if we can also develop the top of page for this particular program, which we'll do it. So then we'll have the select options. We'll be building the field catalogs here itself. We can also use the field catalog underscore merge, which we have used in the previous program or we can also use the field catalogs in this so we have vbln for vb like ap hyphen vbln we'll have select vbln and the other fields are like here in name ERZET and ERDAT from like AP into table IT underscore like AP. Then we'll write the where condition. The where condition would be where VBLN in S underscore VBLN. Then we'll go for this is the select statement that we have here. And then we'll go for FCT1, FCT1, WA underscore FCT1, if a column underscore position is equal to 1, this is the first column. We are writing the field, we'll get developing the field catalogs for the first column here. Field name equal to the field name that we have here is delivery number then we have cell text underscore m is equals to should be vbln actually it should be in capital the field name should always be in capitals delivery number in w underscore fct1 to it underscore fct1 this is what we have field catalogs. We are building the field catalogs here. So 
will build the build field catalogs for all the four fields. So This is two, three, and four, and uh, the field names will change here obviously. So this would be ERA name. It did not be the, in the same sequence as we have it in, in the selection, but it can be uh, any other format as well. So ER, ZET, then you have ER, TAT. Here this is. created by time they created time it's created on or created date. so once we have this we have to append this so here I need to give it as wa That's it. So we have built the field catalogs here for the first screen. So first we have ERD8 and then we have ERNA. Okay, so let's take this as ERD8 is first. Then we have ERNA. And once this is built, we'll, for, we'll build the first screen. We'll call the pattern reuse underscore LV underscore grid underscore display. So once we have this. Uh, call function we need to pass on this pass on some major important parameters here we need to first comment this it underscore field catalog and it underscore ct1 is what we have here then we'll go for it underscore likeap which will actually fetch the data from the first screen let's see the data here Let's first check out the data for the first screen and then we'll build the second screen. So we are getting the data for the first screen. Uh, of course, like we can also build the top of page for this and all. Create a time and uh, create it. So these are the fields that we are getting here. So what we'll do is like we'll uh, we'll continue with the uh, interactive report so for getting the making it interactive the first thing that we have to do here is like we need to uncomment two things here one is i underscore callback program is what we need to be need to be uncommented so here we are going to write this as syrepid then we have user command Here we'll write something like um, second, and the second whatever we wrote here is a form name that we need to develop down. So from here we'll continue in the next video. So you can check out the next video of this. So do like this. Do like, share, and subscribe to our channel youtube.com slash and uh, if at all if you are looking at for recipe trainings you can contact us at info at the